Hello everyone. In this tutorial video, we are going to learn about how to create box plot using Excel. As you can see, in this sheet, we have a number of data. Basically, we have the distribution of the share of wind, solar, coal, and gas in electricity generation mix across different scenarios over a different projection period. Now we need to visualize the distribution of these uh, different energy sources over the different projection period from different scenarios. So now I'm going to basically create a table. Uh, as we know in the box plot we have to visualize minimum, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter and the max value. So. I'm just going to calculate the same. I need the data from the eighth row onward for me here. And I'm just going to put dollar sign over here. Right. So this is the minimum. And I also need quartile. Select the first quartile. Select the second quartile select the third quartile and now i need the maximum value right so just aligning it to the central and then i'm just going to drag it because it is just common for all the columns next i need to see the difference between we have the mean here and the difference between q1 with mean q2 minus q1 q3 minus q2 and max minus q3 and we're going to see you know why why we need to do this in order to create a box plot so mean is basically this q1 is basically this minus this and I'm just going to drag it down below. So align it to central a bit and then let's create a table and I'm just going to add two rows in order to add the levels on the top, which is basically this. So now the data is ready and the mean and max uh, the q1 minus mean and the max minus q3 are basically the tails uh, the two tails on the top and bottom of the box plot uh, and we also need to visualize the, the, the three different quartiles in a box plot so at first i'm just going to select all this data and go to insert and then insert a stacked column chart as you can see here and so this is as you can see is basically the minimum and i didn't need it i don't need to show it so i'm just going to go to fill and then click and press on no fill this column is basically q1 minus mean so i'm just going to q1 minus mean which is also not necessary but in place of this column i need Tells so I click here, add elements, either bars, uh, and either bar. I go to more options, select the minus because this is a negative error, and then again select here costume, specify value. This is a negative error bar, so I'm going to select over here Q1 minus mean, right? So now. And in place of this orange column, I'm just going to do here no fill, right? So this is the minimum value, this is the Q1, Q2, Q3, and in place of this again, I, I'll select over here the box Q, sorry, this is Q3 minus Q2 over here. I'm going to select here Q3 minus Q2, and then Again, I'm going to add an error bar, more options, plus 
because this is going to be a positive error now. Specified value positive error bar equal to uh, maximum minus Q3, right? Uh, and then this of this, I'm just going to do no fill. So we have our box plot ready here with us. These are the minimum values Q1, Q2, Q3, and this is the max. And I'm just going to also keep the title to it, which is basically this one, the A1. So we also now have the title of the box plot, and this is basically our box plot. We can also change the color a bit and just put it, yeah, a light gray color, or we can also select our color accordingly according to our wish and I'm just going to delete these levels but this is how the share of uh, distribution of the set of wind solar coal and gas uh, is across the different scenarios the share of wind and solar is increasing um, wind is basically the highest in 2050 and solar also becomes a kind of a dominant source the coal is eventually phased out in all of the scenarios and the share of gas uh, there's also some small marginal share of gas in some of the scenarios so that's it about it guys thank you for watching